this is a video that absolutely no one at FaZe Clan ever wanted to make because it's going to shed some negative light on a guy that we care a lot about, but he's forced this upon us and <laughs> this isn't the way we would like to publicly conduct our business. If people want these things to be public, then they will. So what we're gonna show you right now on the screen is multiple different versions of contracts that since September of 2018, we have sent directly to Turner or Tfue uh, in hopes to renegotiate his contract. The original contract he signed with us when we brought him into FaZe Clan in April of 2018 was done under a legal team um, with some slightly different management in the company. When we brought in new management, it became very evidently clear before any concerns were raised on Tfue's side that we didn't like this contract. And we knew how valuable a healthy relationship with Turner would be to us, so we immediately started making strides to come up with a new version to present to Tifu. Unfortunately, that relationship in terms of communication around renegotiation didn't go that well. So we had multiple versions presented to him because it wasn't very clear what his true motive was, right? We didn't know if he wanted more monthly salary. We sent him a deal that was gonna pay him seven figures a year. We sent him a deal that included absolutely no splits at all. We had no legal right to take anything from him under every single term in this contract. Anything he made under any clear, any situation, any format, any media, it was all his. We were gonna take 0%. We've seen a little miscommunication in terms of community understanding about in-game items and what that might mean and what that applied to. L let us be very on the record right now. That has nothing to do with supporter creator codes. Uh, in fact, we as a company have never even taken on our own because we prefer to promote the codes of the creators and you know professionals that we have so anybody who thinks that has anything to do with dipping into the pockets of supporter creator codes is sorely wrong i mean we were so proud of everything that we had accomplished together with him in the past year his first beginnings were some of the greatest products on the internet that, that we've ever created as a company we've been building eight years towards having a relationship with a talent as gifted as tifu we recognized everything he had done for us None of this was lost. We are all very aware of the impact that having Tifu in FaZe Clan brought us as a brand. It gets tough for us to be able to create a healthy relationship with the fans of FaZe Clan, because again, that's truly what we care about here, is protecting the relationship with our fans. Because over the course of the last year, they've also built a relationship with Tifu too. When it became clear to us that as we offered him more money, more you know, fair splits, no splits. It got to a point where we'd sent him versions that almost included all of these things. And not only was he not agreeing to it, he wasn't even responding at a certain point. When it became clear to us that his pure intention was really just to leave, that's very difficult. I've seen a lot of people online say, oh, why didn't you just let him out? We owe our fans much more of a debt than that because our fans have invested their time and their effort and their care and their love into the relationship that we created with Tifu too. And for us to just drop him solely because he wanted out, I don't think anybody can rationally claim that that would have sat well with our fan base or, or frankly the culture of gaming and relationships in general if we were to just drop him. So we made every effort to renegotiate. So when people say online, this wasn't a blind side, you guys were aware of this, we were certainly aware we were renegotiating. We were definitely not aware that he planned to sue us. So from here, it's it's important to understand why people in FaZe Clan are so emotional about this because we were so emotionally invested in what we'd created with him and we, we never thought it would come to this. So for him to come out now publicly today, realize his true motives were to create his own organization and to directly compete with us, if, if anybody feels that it was in our best interest, both as a business and as a representative to the fans who care about us to just simply wipe our hands and walk away and allow that to happen, then I'm sorry, but we can't ration with you. Uh, but we did try to ration with Tifu, and it didn't work, and that really sucks. Yes, Seabass, um, I, I couldn't agree more, unfortunately. A point that I wanna make is that when Tifu first signed with us, he was under a starter agreement. He wasn't the Tifu that everybody knows now. Uh, and, and the other thing is, it wasn't the first org, org that he's been part of. So he's signed contracts before with other orgs and he knows what it what it means to sign to sign a contract. Uh, so I just want to walk people through the timeline since it, I was largely negotiating with Tifu's camp while Banks was having some direct conversations with Tifu. So that started looking back at my emails it started in September 6th. As early as September 28th of last year, we sent the first revised version of a contract for Tifu. Uh, we didn't get a great response to it. We didn't get much of a response. And so what we decided was uh, in the middle of January, 
I flew down with Banks and Tifu's direct manager to go sit and have a face-to-face -face with, with him and his dad to see if we can make some progress. It wasn't a great day. We didn't get a lot done, um, but we, we were still plowed on and, and, tried, and tried to make things work. We sent him a new agreement to his lawyer January 24th of this year. We sent another updated thought on April 3rd, then again on April 29th. And then the other day as this developed, we decided we're going to send an amendment to the agreement that gets rid of this 80% clause that everybody's been concerned about, um, even though we have never collected any more than 20% from him or any other of our, of our members. Yeah, I feel like the other thing, you know, and, and because we were having these issues and because we wanted Turner to feel that we had his back, we made the decision to not collect any money under the, under the old agreement. Nothing from prize pool, nothing from YouTube, nothing from anything except for a couple of brand deals that he accepted that we only took 20% of. And those deals came from us to him. So it's really unfortunate that we're here at all. Uh, the relationship with Tifu was much more important than the money. We gave him so many different options that had little or even some of them had no money going to FaZe Clan and yet we still couldn't get a deal done. And we come to find um, that the reason why is he never planned on getting a deal done with us. He wanted to start a competing organization. And that's like the Lakers letting LeBron James create a competing NBA team. They would never let it happen, and we should never let that happen. Our commitment to our fans is that FaZe Clan will continue to be thought leaders in the space, to be agents of positive change while the industry develops. Things will change, things will evolve. We want to be at the forefront of that always. We are talent first, we are fan first, and we will continue to think that way as we help lead the industry in its change. Phase the fuck up.